What's up Marina, this is Avilash Thakur and welcome back to Sailor's Guide. Alright guys, so now we will take uh, one step uh, ahead in learning of ROR. Now we are going to start with rule number 27. Well, this rule is regarding the vessel uh, NUC and vessel RAM. So NUC is not under command and RAM is restricted in our ability to maneuver. So this rule will explain what lights these vessels need to exhibit. So without wasting our time, let's get started. Alright guys, so this video is going to be a little bit different. I'm not going to repeat the words which is in the ROR. You can keep the book of ROR beside you and I'm going to just explain what is inside the ROR. Alright guys, so in this uh, A part of this rule, they have explained the lights of uh, NUC. Well, there are three subparts. First part explain what lights of NUC. Second part is the day signal. Third part is about when this vessel is making way. So the first part of this rule, they are saying that uh, the NUC vessel need to exhibit two lights in a vertical line. They should be all round and they should be in red color. So there will be two lights in a vertical line. It should be all round and red in color. And they will be placed where they can best be seen. So it will be mostly on the aftermast of your vessel. Okay. And the day signal of this vessel is the two black balls in a vertical line. Same, they need to be placed where they can best be seen. So it has to be placed your aftermast because this is the highest point of your vessel. So they can be best be seen from here. All right, guys. So this third subpart explain if this NUC vessel is making way through the water, she needs to exhibit uh, the additional lights, side lights and a stern light. Let's take an example that if you have an engine failure, your ship will still make way through the water because you have not stopped right away. It will take some time to stop this ship. So at that point of time, you are still making way through the water and you need to exhibit these side lights and a stern light plus this NUC lights. These two red lights in a vertical line at their best can be seen. Okay. So uh, this is about the vessel which is not under command. So we will jump onto the next part. This is about the vessel restricted in her ability to maneuver. Well, there are some cat different categories of this uh, RAM vessels also. So we are going to learn what are they and let's get started with the B part of this rule. All right guys, so the B part has four subparts. So in the first part, they are going to explain what are the lights of the RAM vessel. And the second part, they are going to explain what are the day signal. Third part, the same when they are making way through the water, what lights need to be exhibited. And the fourth part additionally here is about the vessel restricted in ability to maneuver when at anchor. Okay, so we are going to learn what are the lights and in the first part they are saying if you are a ram vessel you need to exhibit three all round lights in a vertical line and it should be red, white and red. It means from the uppermost and the lowermost will be red and in between there will be a white light. Okay, same in the day signal we will have this ball diamond and ball in a vertical line where they can best be seen. So basically you know it is on the aftermast. Alright, now if uh, the ram vessel is uh, making way through the water, she needs to exhibit of course side lights and a stern light but additionally she has to exhibit this mast headlight also. Well you already know wherever you put this mast headlight it means the vessel is using engines. Okay, that is why we put this mast headlight. Mast headlight normally indicates this thing only. As you know the side lights and stern light indicates that a vessel making way through the water. Mast headlight indicates that a vessel using an engine. Okay, so in NUC we are not clear if they are using engine or not. So they are not putting this mast headlight but here you already know this ram vessel have engines. So that is why they are using this mast headlight to indicate that they are, are making way through the water. Now in the next part they are saying that uh, what are the lights for the vessel ram at anchor. So now they are saying that in rule number 30 the lights are given for anchored vessel. So normally anchor lights are very simple. There will be two lights, one light at the forward, one light at the aft. Forward one should be higher than the aft one. So these lights are all round lights and white in color. So you already know for all of the vessel who are at anchor they need to exhibit these two lights. Okay, Forward, aft, forward will be higher, after will be lowest and they will be all around white color. Okay. Additionally, they need to put this ram vessel lights also that is red, white and red. So you can understand that uh, in rule number 30, whatever the lights are given for the vessel anchor, additionally they have to put for the ram vessel. Okay. So that is what they have given here. Now in the next part, we are going to learn that if the vessel is engaged in the towing operation and the vessel which is being towed, if they are severely restricted and they are considered as a ram vessel only, so they need to exhibit the lights which are in ram vessel that is restricted in ability to maneuver. So they will exhibit this ram vessel lights. So it's the same red, white and red. So that is about the C part of this rule. So now we will jump on to the next part that is the D part of this rule. All right guys, in the D part they are talking about the vessel which is engaged in dredging. So dredging is the operation where they remove this mud from the bottom of the sea to increase the depth of the channel. Okay, so wherever this river ports are normally, so normally this mud come along with this high water. So they need to dredge this uh, 
uh, channel so that a bigger vessel can come along because as this vessel has a deep draft they need more depth to pass through this channel so these dredger vessels actually drag this mud from the bottom of the sea and put it on the vessel okay so that's how they remove this so this dredging vessel need to exhibit the lights which are uh, restricted in ability to maneuver but there are some additional lights also let's find out what they are all right guys so this dredging vessel will also exhibit the lights which are explained here in ram vessel that is red white and red additionally they will put more lights what are they let's say if that vessel is dredging on the starboard side of the vessel so on the starboard side it is obstructed side no other vessel can pass through that side because it is obstructed they are engaged in the operation here so to indicate in which side they are engaged in operation they need to indicate two red lights in a vertical line let's say they will put this two red lights in a vertical line here okay and on the safe side they will put two green light in a vertical line okay so if they are engaging on the starboard side of the vessel they will put these two red lights in a vertical line here and safe side obviously it is the port side so they will put two green lights in a vertical line and vice versa if they are engaged on the port side and the day signal for this thing is uh, that uh, ball diamond ball that is same and additionally they will put these two uh, black balls on the side which they have been restricted which is obstructed so on the starboard side if you are engaged you will put these two balls in a vertical line and on the port side of course which is the safe side you will put these two diamonds in a vertical line so this is the additional day signal they will put these dredger has to put all right guys they are saying that if you are a dredging vessel and you are at anchor so you will not exhibit the lights which is prescribed in rule number 30 which is for anchor lights but only you will exhibit the lights which are given here in this rule so there will be no changes even if they are at anchor they will not put any additional lights only the lights which are prescribed here for the dredging vessel okay so this is about the vessel which is engaged in dredging let's get started with the next part which is about the vessel which is engaged in underwater operation especially for the vessel which is engaged in diving operation the previous part in the d part it is about the dredging and the vessel who's engaged in underwater operation whereas as uh, this uh, diving operation is also an underwater operation but there is a small change as you know this diving operation these vessels are very very small they are normally a boat which is less than even 12 meters okay so it's a very small boat so these divers will go into the water through this boat only okay so this is a service boat basically for them so this boat is so small so that they can they cannot exhibit the lights which are explained here for underwater operations that is same for the dredging vessel they cannot because they are very small so there is no space to put on these lights so what they have done here they have uh, given the exception for this uh, small uh, diving operation boats they can only exhibit this red white and red at night time and for the day signal they have to exhibit this alpha flag okay alpha flag you already know it donates that you are engaged in a diving operation that you do you have a diver down the alpha flag indicates that well this alpha flag should have the height of 1 meter and it should be visible from all the sides okay so you have to put it on a little bit higher place so alpha flag in day time and red white red at night time so this is the lights and day signal for the vessel which is engaged in diving operation okay so now we are going to start uh, with the next part that is about the vessel which is engaged in mine clearance mine clearance is a special operation you already might be knowing what is the mine mine is a kind of an explosive which are used to destroy the enemies which are coming underwater so uh, in the world war 2 they have done these kind of things but uh, but after the war situation you don't actually need these kind of things you need to clear up these uh, mines so this is very dangerous operation so these are a special vessel for this mine clearance and they have this different lights they don't exhibit the lights of ram vessel they will exhibit some different lights but obviously they has consider as a ram vessel only because their job is like this their job is restricted them to get away from another vessel that is why they are considered as ram vessel but they will exhibit some different lights All right, guys. For the mine clearance uh, vessel, it's very simple. They have to exhibit only the lights which are prescribed in Rule Number Twenty Three, which is for the power-driven vessel. So, two mast head lights, side lights, and a stern light. That is a signal they will exhibit. Additionally, they have to put these three all-round green lights. Okay, it will be in a triangular form. So, they will put these three all-round green lights: one at the forward mast, two at the forward yarn, basically on the same. Okay, and the daytime they have to put these uh, three balls in the same position. These three black balls, like this. Okay. Also, if the, these mine clearance vessel are at anchor, they need to exhibit the lights which are rule number thirty, which are explained in rule number thirty. No other lights. Okay. So, if you see these kind of lights, you need to get away from this vessel because you already know these are the mine clearance. So, you need to get away at least thousand meters. So, at least about more than half a mile, you need to keep clear from this vessel. 
okay obviously these vessel will produce some ais messages and this nav areas messages that uh, if some vessels are engaged in this mine clearance and you need to stay away from these vessel need to be very clear from them okay all right guys so now i will move on to the next part that is about the g part so they are saying simply here that if you are less than 12 meters in length you don't need to exhibit the lights of ram vessel even if you are restricted in your ability to maneuver you don't need to exhibit until or unless you are engaged in a diving operation other than that you not need to exhibit these lights okay only if you are engaged in diving operation all right so now in the next part last part they are saying that if you see this ram vessel lights or anything like this it will be not considered as a distress because in distress you need to assist that vessel so they are not considered as a distress signals well distress signal are uh, explained in nx4 so here this rule is not indicating that a vessel in distress okay so this is about the rule number 27 guys i hope you learned a lot of things here and but obviously this rule is little bit longer but i hope that i made these points clear to you and you need to watch this video again and again to get these things into your mind and you need to practice this with your friends also for the examination purposes okay so it will be embedded in your mind for a longer time all right guys so this is about this rule if you find this video helpful please press the like button also subscribe my channel do press the all notification bell so that you don't miss out the videos which are coming up next also you can put down the questions in your comment section below all right guys so i will see you in the next video this is abhilash shakur signing off